If you want to play Windows Steam games on macOS that you can't play normally, open up your browser and then type in Whiskey App Mac. It should take you to this link. I'll leave it in the description. This app lets you run Windows on macOS. So click download latest and it'll download. I can then go into my downloads location, which is my desktop and double click to extract and we get the Whiskey app. Next, go to your finder and at the top, click go and applications. You'll want to drag the Whiskey app from your desktop or from whatever else into your applications folder. This is how you install apps on Mac. Then double click to open. It says Whiskey is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. Next it's going to run me through the setup. This will help me install all the other things it needs to run Windows apps on Mac. So for me this is already installed and I need to install GPTK. So I'm going to click next and it's going to install it automatically. Beautiful. So now let's click create a bottle and the bottle is essentially a place where you can put Windows applications and then install and run them from there. So I'm going to name it Shrek because why not? The Windows version, I'm going to leave Windows 10 and here it shows the path of your bottle. I'm going to leave it as default, create. So now we have the bottle where we can put Windows applications. But to run Steam games, we first need to download Steam. So go into your browser again and look for Steam download. There we go, the Steam's website. And up here, I'm going to click install Steam. It's going to bring me to this page. Now here, I want to click on the Windows logo because I want the Windows version of Steam. I don't want the Mac OS version. So I'm gonna click here and it's going to download the steam setup.exe file, which is the steam installer for Windows. Next, I'm going to come here into whiskey and open my C drive, which is inside of that bottle that we created. Think of it as your C drive on Windows. This is where we can put Windows applications and run them from here. So I put steam setup.exe inside of the drive C. You can drag other game installers in here and play those games that would otherwise be only available on Windows on Mac. But as I said, not all of them will work. Next, inside of whiskey, I'm going to say run, which will open up the exact same C drive just from whiskey and then double click on Steam and boom. So this is just your regular Steam install as it were to happen on Windows. I'm going to click next, set my language. Next, I'm going to leave this location as default, install, and it's going to install the Windows version of Steam on macOS and finish. Now you will not be able to run every single Windows game through whiskey, but the best part is that it's free. Of course, there are two other apps, Parallels and Crossover. Most games will usually run faster on these. I'll leave links to all of them in the description. However, they cost money. Both of them have a 14-day free trial, so you can try it out if your games work on them, but they will cost you around 100 bucks per year, or if you want, you can get a lifetime version for around 500 bucks, and the same for Parallels. You have to pay $19.99 per year or do a one-time purchase, but it's only the current version, so if there are any updates, you're not guaranteed to get them. However, on crossovers especially, Windows games that do run, run a lot better compared to Parallels. So if you're choosing one for gaming, I would recommend trying out Crossover first and then trying Parallels if that doesn't work. So once Steam is installed, you can sign in with your account. Here it says, do you want the application Wine Server to accept incoming network connections? I'm going to click Allow. And now I'm signed into the Windows version of Steam. I can go to my library and try playing one of the games. I wanted to play The Binding of Isaac on Mac forever and I'm so happy that I finally found a solution through Whiskey without having to spend money on crossovers. I knew that crossovers can run The Binding of Isaac Repentance really well, but I was still looking for a free way to do it. Let's wait for it to download and try it out. And also, it's quite buggy sometimes. Like right now, I'm running into an issue where I can't open Steam, so I'm going to have to quit it, and it hopefully resumes when I restart Steam again, through Whiskey, of course. Beautiful, your game is ready to play. So let's launch it and see what happens. Now there seems to be just the teeniest, tiniest bit of delay when playing the game, but it's nothing major that I can't get used to, and of course it will probably improve over time. So that's how you run Windows Steam games on Mac. Bye.